You know, you, you talked about um, the kinds of things that leadership needs to do, and can you talk a little bit about how leaders need to be able to act differently? The role of leadership, the CEO, the executive team, um, how leadership should change mm -hmm. as we go through the transformation and as they operate in this new environment. Yeah. So maybe to put it a bit in a broader picture, for me, it's not only it's the it's not only the leader. The sure. leader is, is yes. super important, but yes. it's more than the leader. And maybe just to give the full picture. So, on the one hand side, I think you need to think about the structure because if you have the wrong structure, you can have the best leader, but you yes. will not be successful. And therefore, it's important that you separate this new world from the old world, and that you make sure that they have the freedom, that they have the autonomy yes. to really thrive and to do whatever they want. So and just basic things that they have like could can use a different IT system than the core organization is using that they can use different employment contracts than the core organization is using right. because they need to have more flexibility different incentive schemes etc so yeah. that's the whole structural part and and then also you need to set up the processes to make sure that everyone is heard in the organization and yes. like corporate accelerators, but yes. in, a, in a good way. So mm -hmm. to make sure that even the intern that just started a couple of months ago, if yes. he has a great or she has a great idea, that, that, that there's a way that those ideas are, are kind of channeled Channel. upwards to the top management. And what a lot of companies do, and, now, and then this is linked to leadership, that the, the top management team really takes the time to listen to those um, pitches and yes. And uh, one guy, uh, it's also someone I, I really admire in terms of his leadership skills. So he really travels around the world and, and listens to the pitches of everyone in the organization. Yes. And he spends 20 days of his busy schedule to travel around to listen yes. to those pitches. And even if it's the intern, then the CEO listens to him or yes. her. And if it's a great idea, this, this person has the possibility to, to, to build on it. And so and what they do, they kind of have it in this um, this internal kind of innovation competition and uh -huh. they first of all they have those pitches and then they yes. select some of them and then it's also nice then those that, that are selected they put them on the intranet yes. and then different uh, empl or all employees are invited to kind of um, give their votes on the good yes. ones or on not as good ones and then the ones that come in the next stage they ultimately they can then pitch their idea in front of the top management team and then the nice thing is the ones who win they can either go three weeks to Harvard for an executive oh, course yes. or they can spend three months just out of their job and focus on their ideas yes. what do you think they have done that for the last 10 years That's how amazing. many went to Harvard what do you think zero oh, God. No. It's nobody went to <laughs> they Harvard because yes. they are so inspired. They all wanted yeah. to continue their idea. Exactly, because their it's their idea. baby, it's their, it's their thing, and they want to push yes. that forward. And that's, for me, great leadership coming Absolutely. to your question. So making sure that you inspire the people, making sure that you empower them, that they that they drive it, because you need the people to drive this transformation and also to drive this ecosystem. And only if you are a great leader, then you are able to, to make that happen. Yes, creating the environment to be exactly. able to Creating. ensure that there is engagement, that it's fun even, it's fun, you know, yeah, what you exactly, just talked yeah. about, you know, it creates a sense of excitement that I, no matter where I am in the organization, yeah. no matter what my role is, I can, exactly. right? So um, it's, just, it's inspiring, just, yeah, it, just to it add creates to that. an environment. Yeah, create an environment, that's yes. one thing, but then, and then even more difficult when mm -hmm. this thing is not successful. And I yes. have, I've seen a lot of cases where they were not successful, obviously, because not yeah. everything is successful. Right. But then it's also critical that the leader steps in and that the leader makes sure, OK, if my team is or if this mm -hmm. great project is not successful because either it's too early or whatever the reasons are, yes. so that the leader makes sure that all those different people that are working on this project and that, that we are so inspired yes. that they and see that somebody cares about them, exactly. that, that, that they have a future in the organization. Right. Yes. And for me, that's it's safe. Exactly, it's a safe. And for me, the great leaders are those that really um, go last. So to mean yes. that they, they really look for different new jobs for those people that, yes. that ventured into those new projects. And if yes. they were not successful, the leader has the responsibility to make sure that they have a career afterwards. That yes. They are not the, the guys, well, you failed and right. well, I don't want to have you on, on my team because you were not successful with this project. Yes. No, in a different way. So you are the most valuable resource in the organization exactly. because you have the experience, you have the knowledge. They and took the risk. Exactly. They took, they the, took risk the risk and you yeah. want to be able to ensure that it's recognized. It's not, not only for that individual, but everyone else in the organization sees that. Exactly. And yeah. how you reacted to that. And that creates even more um, engagement of the organization to say, I can take risks too. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but so it's, it's still 
a difficult thing in a lot of yes. organizations, especially in the big organizations, because yes. your career were basically based on successes. And now if right. you are not successful, what does mm -hmm. it mean for your career? And that's again leadership, that the leaders Absolutely. make sure that those people are protected and that they are kind of still can make their yes. career in the organization.